About six years ago, I had the awesome opportunity to teach junior high and high school youth in Chicago, Illinois. I think Father Jim knows a little bit about Chicago. I was in the south side of Chicago in an area called Canaryville. It is just, I believe, east of Bridgeport. Very, very Irish community in Canaryville. Very blue collar, very down to earth, good families in a parish called St. Gabriel. Long story short, I had the opportunity to be able to spend two years with these beautiful young people. And in one class, I asked this question, and I pose it to us here this morning. The question is, are we holy? Are we holy? When I asked the children this question, they all answered with the same answer that I gave when I was asked this same question before. The answer, no, I'm not. But my brothers and sisters, that is not the right answer. You see, you and me, we are all holy. Now you can say, Father Trey, you can't say that. Holy means to be set apart for God. That's the definition. You can look it up on your phone. It'll say holy means to be dedicated or to be consecrated to God. But the religious definition that I learned in the seminary was simply to be set apart. And so by our baptism, by our faith, by what we believe in, we, our, we, our lives, our soul, our whole being is called and set apart for God. Where you and I probably say no when asked that question is because we have not come to the understanding or feel worthy of the fulfillment of that holiness. Those are the lives of the saints, we say. But as Jesus tells us throughout the gospel, and in these gospel passages that we've heard through this week, and now in chapter 5, we know the commandments. And Jesus says, you have heard it said, but I say this, who is this man saying, but I say this? It's God. God in Jesus saying, be set apart. Be consistent in our lives. Be fulfilled in all that you do. May it be drawn to the love that I have for you, God says. Benedict Groeschel, God rest his soul. I remember watching him when I was probably in my early years of discernment. And when it was asked of him, how can we follow more closely with God? He simply said, say yes, and never stop saying yes to his will. God's will is very simple, do right love justice, and walk humbly with our God so that we can say, 
with a sure and certain hope that we are set apart, that we are made holy, and may we live to that fulfillment and be an example for all that we meet. Amen.